In my last video, I discussed the condition known as capsulitis. If capsulitis is not resolved in a timely fashion, it can progress to a more severe condition. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, and I'm a podiatrist in Houston, Texas. The persistent pressure that causes capsulitis can cause a ligament called the plantar plate to erode. In today's video, I'll discuss a plantar plate rupture, what to look for, and how to treat it. Before I get into it, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Also, I wrote a book all about ball of foot pain. You can get it for free at www.balloffootbook.com. Have you noticed that your second toe has started reaching for your great toe and even may sit on top of it? This can not only cause pain on top of the toe where it contacts your shoe, but also causes pain in the joint at the ball of your foot, right behind your second toe. This condition starts as capsulitis, the inflammation of the ligaments surrounding the joint. If not treated in a timely fashion, the ligaments on the bottom of the joint can weaken and tear. This is known as a rupture of the plantar plate. A plantar plate rupture weakens the support of the toe. The toe is no longer able to be held down in a correct position. As a result of this injury, the toe pops up and shifts over towards the great toe. It's possible that the toe can shift towards your great toe for other reasons other than a plantar plate rupture. It may simply be a hammer toe. The treatment of each are different, so I have to make sure that the right condition is properly treated. In order to assess the status of the plantar plate, I'll usually order an MRI. An MRI will allow me to see the ligament and see if it's ruptured or not. This is important to know since the treatment for a hammer toe differs from the treatment of the plantar plate. If it's in the early stages of an injury, it's possible for the ligament to heal. In that case, I would tape your toe to maintain it in the proper position for the ligament to heal. This may be effective if the torn ligament is due to a traumatic injury. For instance, let's say you trip over a curb. The next day, you see that your second toe is up and over your great toe. That's the perfect time to come into the office for treatment. I'll take an x-ray to make sure nothing is broken, and I'll show you how to tape your foot to get that toe back down. For an acute injury like that, Taping is an effective way to reposition the toe and allow the plantar plate to heal. If taping is successful in repairing the ligament, I recommend the use of a custom orthotic afterwards. This will shift pressure away from an already weakened ligament to prevent future problems from occurring. Unfortunately, most plantar plate injuries are not because of trauma and aren't so easily solved. In most cases, the plantar plate ligament progressively weakens over time. When the ligament wears away and ruptures, think of it as shredded rope. No amount of taping is going to allow it to heal on its own. Because of the position of the second toe, it's difficult to wear a shoe and the toe becomes painful. There's also significant pain at the ball of your foot. The best treatment for a plantar plate rupture is to repair it surgically. The surgical procedure to repair the plantar plate is involved. A surgical fracture is made at the second metatarsal in order to expose the torn ligament. At that time, the ligament is sutured and anchored to the first bone of the second toe. This is what brings the toe back into alignment. The fracture that I created in the metatarsal bone is then repaired with a screw. After the surgery, you'll be in a boot for a few weeks, as well as having a dressing on your foot. Sutures come out in two to three weeks, and you're usually back to full activity in 12 weeks. That's a pretty big ordeal for a tiny ligament that becomes torn, but it's a necessary one. In next week's video, we'll discuss another cause of ball of foot pain called metatarsalgia. Please take a moment to like, comment, subscribe, and share on social media to help others find the information they need. Don't forget to pick up my free book about ball of foot pain at www.balloffootbook.com. The link is at the top of the description below. If you're noticing that your second toe is starting to lift over your great toe, 
give us a call at the office and we'll get you in for an immediate appointment. The link is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.